and uh, Konga, thank you very much, uh, uh, the Mr. Ogotiku, for your uh, submission. And uh, as you rightly said, uh, the issue of uh, personality disparagement or the issue of character assassination, assassination and defamation are things that we are seeing daily in the Nigerian politics. And the current campaign atmosphere is still showing this kind of uh, aggression among the politicians, among their parties. Everybody is using that as an avenue maybe of promoting and him, uh, himself or his party, and also as an avenue of demoting uh, the opposition. Uh, obviously, one thing that is uh, so clear is that the issue of uh, issue of reward and punishment or the issue of punishment are usually people are uh, uh, abusing themselves attacking themselves uh because of political purposes but one thing is that nobody usually is ready even if you uh, you are defamed by somebody to move to court of law uh with the purpose of seeking redress of uh, that person that attacked your character. And uh, not only that, it's being seen as maybe it's something a minus to a politician to even take somebody that uh, defame his character to court of law. We have seen, for example, recently what happened between a young student and, for example, the wife of the Nigerian president, whereby he uses his maybe a social media platform to attack the personality of the uh, first lady. And she decided to take a redress from the court of law. But you can see the outcry the, by the Nigerian media, by the politicians, especially the opposition, that how are you going to do that? So taking that into consideration that even if I'm attacked, I'm afraid of seeking redress so that people will use that my action also against me, trying to protect my integrity, uh, to try to exercise my own constitutional given right. But people will come at, and, and say, okay, blame you for doing that. So because that is one, people are even jittery, the politicians are jittery of taking the, the other politicians to court to seek redress for, because of the defamation of character, and uh, um, that situation can be used against the person that seeks that particular redress, then people let it go. And then you can see the atmosphere is not very, very, very conducive. It's not very good when you, whoever is reading what is happening. It is happening at national level, at state level, and all other levels of, pol of our political atmosphere. So uh, unless, unless, action. We have started being bold. The politicians start being bold to sue, to claim damages. And obviously, unless the courts are, uh, are also uh, rising to their responsibilities, and people are seeing clear implication of the defamation, and now defamation of character is one of the political culture of the Nigerians that also that is polluting the politics.